What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I got a banger for you here. It's RBF, a.k.a. rubidium fluoride. Rubidium, an alkali metal. Fluorine, a halogen or a non-metal, specifically. Metals plus non-metals make ionic compounds, which means there's going to be a transfer of electrons. The metals will give their electrons up to the non-metals. You want to watch that happen? Rubidium, the alkali metal in group one, has one electron in its outer shell. There you go. RB with the symbol with its one valence electron. Fluorine in group 17 has seven electrons in its outer shell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are the Lewis structures for the atoms, but you were asked for the Lewis structure for the compound. The metals will give their electrons away to complete the octets of the non-metals. The octet rule says that atoms are happiest when they are surrounded by a complete shell of eight electrons. Now, rubidium is going to give away its electron, which means that that empty outer shell is no longer the outer shell because it's empty, but, but the next one in is full. So that's satisfying too. Anyways, the point is, where is fluorine gonna get the eighth electron to complete its octet? The answer is rubidium will be like, here, take mine. You can have it. In fact, I want you to have it. So the final Lewis structure here is going to show that the rubidium no longer has its valence electron. Do not put a dot around it. Put square brackets around it because it's now an ion. And that charge is plus one because it lost a negatively charged electron. Losing a negative makes it positive. Similarly, although actually in the opposite direction, fluorine has its seven valence electrons plus rubidiums, giving it eight. That's one more electron than it had, which is why it has a charge of minus one. It's now an ion, so put it in square brackets, and there you go. This is the ionic Lewis structure for rubidium fluoride. You're done. That's it. Uh, let me be specific. This is the Lewis structure for rubidium fluoride. This is just me motivating how it happens. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.